Hi, we're, we're the Geordie, Geordie Fan Club. Club. I'm Lucy and this is Mel and we're two twins from Kent in a band. Um, we're here today to tell you a little bit about our life in a band and communicating messages through music. Messages through music is what our talk song, spreading strong ideas and captivating song. But we're also here to tell you about being in a band, so maybe you can do it too with your twin in second command. First you need to think, what's your message on? So, our first musical piece is how to write a song. So you wanna learn to write a song? Hope I'm not gonna teach you wrong Cause I'm not the twin who did music GCSE First you gotta start with a theme Not as hard as it seems I'll walk you through it step by step You music lovers, don't you fret So if you did year nine Just do the four chord song C, G, A minor and F You need an intro, chorus one and two Build up the chorus two Verses three and four Build up the chorus at the bridge, but Mel complains because I don't do that anyway. Chorus and repeat, and then you're out. Trove. If you want to make it sad, make sure you add a minor chord. And if you're playing happy days, make sure you keep it up in major. You need an intro, verse one and two. Build up the chorus two, verses three and four. Build up the chorus some more. At the bridge, but Mel complains because I don't do that anyway. And then you're out. Trove. What about an instrumental? What about a bit of harmony? Okay, so in every good gig, there's a bit of audience participation. So can everyone clap in time with me? Ready? You need an intro of a small bit too. Put up a little 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 bit too. So every type of artist carries some messages in their music. For example, Will Varley talks a lot about politics. We don't believe you. We don't believe you. We don't believe you anymore. Or 21 pilots who talk about insecurities, family and more. She asked me. about a change in relationship. Do you like pina coladas or getting caught in the rain? If you're not into yoga, come with me and escape. Your message could be about anything, like your pet rat, rat like called Ben by Michael Jackson, or even about what I talk is on. Messages through music. Our next musical piece is an original song about the changing world and its effects on the environment. It's called Wasting It All. Whispers beneath the sheets Footprints fossilised your grounds Can we remember when we were young? We were young, now life's aching for the wind Take me away where land ain't grey Where tarmac's not pressing on my chest Take me away where I can hear the birds Now clouds of smoke rolling in oh, oh. We need more, we need a cigarette Tanks of fuel are frying waste. I can't consume any more. There's a crater in my face. If I breathe it all, will I take up too much? 
If I leave it all with high and up a bunch A bunch of waste alone in space If I waste it all and waste it all with you Flowing through the river stream And experimenting with the green Flowing through the river stream And experimenting with the green if I breathe it all, will I take up too much? If I live it all, will I end up a bunch? A bunch of waste alone in space. If I waste it all, I'm wasting it all with you. If I waste it all, I'm wasting it all with you. So finally, if you've got your band, you've got your messages, and you've got your songs, um, you want to start thinking about your name. So our name's called the Geordie Fan Club, and it has nothing to do with Newcastle or anything like that. It actually comes from our childhood, something that we had to make up on the spot for our first gig because we had no name, our real band wasn't formed at all. And our dad actually made it up, and he said, oh, I don't know what to call it. But I remember they loved this cat named Geordie who died when we were nine years old. So he decided to tell the people that our band name was the Geordie Fan Club, our dead cat from when we were nine years old. So just remember that if you did want to make a band and you did want to come up with a name, it doesn't really have to mean anything to anyone else. Like, it's lovely that we have that funny story that we can tell. It just has to mean something to you, and it just doesn't have to be too long so people will remember it. Finally, what about if you're on stage and you're with your band? See, confidence is definitely key, and you can 100% pretend to have it. It doesn't matter if you mess up, because the audience are going to laugh with you and not at you. For instance, at me and Melody's first gig, we were asked to do an encore and we had no songs left at all. We had no covers, nothing. And we didn't want to repeat anything we'd already done because that's really boring. So we decided to quickly attempt an experimental cover of Landslide and this is how we wanted it to go. Well, I've been afraid of changing. And we messed that up and it was so horrible and the disharmony was <laughs> just so cringy. But it didn't matter because it was a funny story we could tell and everyone was laughing at the time and we were laughing with them. It was just nice, something we can laugh about now. So it doesn't matter if you mess up, if you do anything, public speaking, music, it doesn't matter. It was just a funny story. So for those of you sitting here being like, I don't want a career in music, I don't want to be in a band, well, probably basically all of you in here, minus maybe one or two, um, this talk is relevant to everyone because everyone likes listening to music. Everyone, well, most of the time, has a favourite artist. And the thing is, when you're listening to that artist, you're listening to their passions and their messages that they're trying to relate to you. And you can decide whether you want to sit back and relax and enjoy, or you can just think about what they're saying and relate to it. And that's why music's so powerful as a medium, because you get the choice to choose how deeply you, you want to look into it. And that's why we chose to do it in our talk today. Um, this next one we're going to do is called Ghost, and you can sit back and relax or think about the messages. the urge to captivate a stranger's hands beat the drum and leave the line for us pretty ones the time is going light stops glowing looking forward seeing what goes as the bone rocks and turns and loads your eyes burn to back as you turn your head and I watch you go You lead no path, just like a ghost Like a ghost, like a ghost Friendly faces worn at first Everyone can be rehearsed Light fades out from your eyes I'm distracted by pretty lies Bright eyed strangers turning tables, seeking corners, pushing borders. As the bone rocks and turns and loads, your eyes burn to black and gold. As you turn your head and I watch you go, you leave no path, just like a ghost, like a ghost, like a ghost. 
like her ghost. Ah, As the bone rocks and turns and rolls, your eyes burn to black and gold. As you turn your head and I watch you go, you lean apart just like a ghost, like a ghost, like a ghost. Ah, Okay, so being in a band with other people, it can be so useful because if you want to create your own music, you can collaborate, collaborate with lots of different ideas and your songs can be really different and diverse. However, the interesting thing about being in a band with your twin sister is that you get a lot of time to practice together because obviously we live together, um, which unfortunately some bands just don't get and that can really be really helpful when preparing for a performance. Um, also, with bands like us, well me and Lucy, we tend to go alone and write our own songs and then bring them together to grow with one another. So one of us will add more harmonies or guitar riffs or something like that. And um, also, something you take into mind when you are in a band with someone is especially in a creative environment, you're going to get into arguments with people a lot, so you've got to be able to accept and move on from it. So finally, what about getting gigs and things? Um, when we have to think about getting gigs, you have to think about what's available to you, what opportunities can you take on in your local area. So is there a festival going on or is there any clubs or bars who are eager to have a performance in? Um, what you could also do is maybe go to open mic nights and maybe get some experience there because it's not all about money, just have some fun with your band. Secondly, you can get a busking licence. What's also important is you showcase your stuff on social media, which is beneficial for contact and good to just show how good you are and your, how much regularly you're doing performances. Lastly, if you do put anything original on, you need to consider the copyright. So for a while we've talked on a lot on messages in music, creating strong messages that are universally strong. It's not all about the instruments, but the themes and moods that allow you to look into it as deeply as you choose. So in case you're a little bit lost, you know, in our musical interludes, here's a sum up of our talk from the Geordie Fan Club to you. Set one, we taught you how to write a song to any name, you can't go wrong. Number three, confidence is key. Number four, you don't need to be in a band. Vibe together, ideas expand. Number six, get yourself out there for gigs. Number one, we taught you how to write a song to any name, you can't go wrong. Number three, confidence is key. Number four, you don't need to be in a band. Vibe together, ideas expand. Number six, get yourself out there for gigs. Number one, Taught you how to write a song To any name you can't go wrong Number three, confidence is key Number four, you don't need to be in a band Vibe together, ideas expand Number six, get yourself out there for gigs You've been such a lovely audience and Thanks, thanks for, for having, having us, us.